Across the U.S., Look, it's a stunning image that North America has witnessed Woo. only five times this millennium. I mean, it doesn't look real. I didn't think I would cry. <laughs> the annular solar eclipse, or ring of fire, happens when the moon passes between the sun and Earth, creating a fiery orange ring around the moon's shadow. It's literally just this perfect ring. And it's glowing, it's radiant. I feel like I'll be dreaming about this for weeks to come. I was thinking of the song, Ring of Fire. Depending on clear skies and location. Wow, this is a perfect ring of fire. It's just so crisp. You likely got to see images like these from cloudy skies in Idaho to Valley of the Gods, Utah and the state aquarium in Corpus Christi, Texas. In one particular location on Earth, it's normally 375 years between eclipses. So it's rare that a person gets to experience it in their lifetime in their specific location. Nowhere else in the solar system do you get these types of eclipses. People driving hundreds of miles to get the best view. We drove like nine hours and we had to take a day off of work, but we decided that was worth it. In Los Angeles, oh, wow. even a partial eclipse drew in a crowd, many arriving hours early to get the best seats in town at the Griffith Observatory. It's a mob, a happy mob that's actually engaged with the cosmos. No matter the age. It's a really cool sight to see. Viewers were over the moon. Looks amazing. It's 924 AM in Los Angeles, maximum eclipse, making the sky just slightly darker. If you've got the right equipment or glasses, the view is pretty spectacular. Yeah. Because the sun is never fully covered, observers must wear proper eye protection. What did you think? This was phenomenal. Uh, we were in the total eclipse in 2017 in Wyoming, and it was one of the best things we've ever done. And so the partial eclipse was something we're not going to miss. If you miss this eclipse, no worries. That total eclipse, which will create complete darkness like we last saw in 2017, will occur again in just six months. In the U.S., ideal viewing locations will span from Texas to Maine. This is just a precursor to the big one coming in April, I think. So a little training for her. Excitement already building for an experience out of this world. Dana Griffin, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.